uh, my life, um, which brought me to the Waterfall Project, is um, over 20 years of um, problematic alcohol use, which I've used in an effort to cope with difficult situations in my life. Um, and it's been a destructive way of coping really, and it's brought me more pain than was um, originally there. And I've been under the illusion that alcohol has been helping me to cope, um, and other ways of coping which have been destru destructive to my life. I feel like God brought me freedom from addiction, and I wanted to be able to share that in a professional manner. Um, and I feel like the waterfalls enabled me to do that. I um, had two children removed from my care um, for seven years because of a consequence of my addiction. And I'm able to work alongside a lot of families that are going through a similar struggle. And if it's not exactly the same, I believe that some of the learning that's come from my own experience can help them um, walk through what can sometimes be a very painful place in their own lives. But more than anything, it, it's caused harm to others, which I never intended and never wanted and wasn't really aware of. But it's only when you come out the other side that you see the damage that you've done, um, mainly to relationships. People that you value and you love more than anything in your life, your, your addiction makes you hurt those people. And it's nonsensical. That's not the intention ever. And, uh, you know, nobody ever intends to hurt people that we love. But, mm -hmm. It's the addiction that makes us behave in those ways. The waterfall's been running for two years now, um, but I had the vision about 20 years ago when I was part of a team doing street outreach amongst women involved in prostitution in Southampton. I believe that as women come through this programme and get healed up and getting excited about helping other women, that it'll become a movement of women who are able to help others and bring recovery uh, to our society.